Hi, it's Marty Manning. I'm here with our resident theater critic. Dave Applevitt. That's right. And we want to tell you about the current production at Arizona Theater Company, The Great Gatsby. I've seen the show. I liked it. But what do I know? Let's talk to the critic. Dave, I'll tell you a little bit about it while we look at some of the scenes from the show. First of all, this is obviously a very classic American story, and it's uh, set to the stage. That's right. It, actually, it's a very difficult one to do. And what's happened with this, uh, this new script from Simon Levy, he's, he's made great clarity out of something that could have been very muddled. You know, it's not an easy book. It's a rewarding book to read, but it's not an easy one if it's brand new to you. And I think the script has really made things seem very clear, particularly in the second half. And what's unexpected about this is that even though it's a kind of a... Tra well, it is a tragedy... It's made exciting. It was one of those cases where I didn't quite know, even though I knew the story, I didn't know how the play was going to take us and what it was going to show about these characters. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So that was the question I had. Do you need to have read The Great Gatsby or seen the movie to enjoy the show? No, not really. I always feel that uh, shows, films, even television plays, whatever, uh, should stand alone. It always helps to have read the book because that way you can see what the script writer has done. Has he cut things out? What has he changed? So there's that interesting part of it, but you don't need to have known the book in order to enjoy the show. There you are. The Great Gatsby right now at Arizona Theatre Company. All right. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10. Well, you know, ATC's standard is so high. I would give this at least an 8.5, maybe even stretched to Ooh, 9. There you go. Don't miss it. <laughs>